What's up, everybody? It's your boy Dev Hall. We back and we live for another season of the Dev Hall Show, season four. Make sure you like and subscribe. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Dev Hall, man. We back and we live for a new season. Let's get it. Let's get it. Season four. Young Seven Nine. Young Seven Nine. Up top. Young Hajim. Finest. You heard me? To be exact. The Dev Hall Show, season four, episode one. Let's One and it. only core, man. Let's get it. How you feeling, baby? I'm bro? burning. What's up, baby? You already know, bro. Thank Listen, you. man. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to give you your flowers right now. Thank you. You know, this is my fourth season. I've been manifesting this episode since I started the Dev Hall Show. Yeah. You feel me? Um, When I started in college, my, my platform is basically to give people that voice. Yeah, yeah. You know, everyone have some type of misjudgment of rappers mm -hmm. or anyone that's doing something because of social media and things yeah. of that sort. And you're someone that I listen to since 2012, even to today. Right. You know, I said I wanted Core and Quilly on my episode. And here we are to start the season off with Core. Bro, I'm from Mission Avenue in Uptown. Yeah. You from Vernon. Mm-hmm. You know? Cedarbrook. Growing up in Uptown, bro, it was that stereotype that that shit was sweet. Mm-hmm. We got grass. Yeah. You know, pretty boys. Mm-hmm. Got all fashion, that, all that type mm -hmm. shit. Like, what was your aspect of growing up in Uptown, man? I felt like like we was counted out. We was counted out. Like you gotta think, I'm from Mount Airy, so it ain't really too many people from Mount Airy that's really putting on. Like right. people be kind of confused in Uptown. Like like our uh, people don't really include Mount Airy in Uptown. Right, well, I, you feel what I'm saying? Right. So we didn't got counted out so many times where it was like it wasn't really nobody from my area, you know, um, really putting on. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't. You know, we had the grass, we had, you know, it was a pole perception of us that like, you know, we was uh, Silver Spoon, I'm gonna right. say that. Like, right. We was Silver Spoon, we came from money, whatever, da 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 da. And I think like just my whole thing been like, I just wanted to be a voice just to show motherfuckers what it's really like. Right. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, if not, that's the same shit that go down other places, go down there, right. if not more. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So I just really wanted to, like when I came in the game or just, you know, started rapping, I was just trying to really just figure out like, how can I explain that to people so they could see it vividly? Like, mm -hmm. and there would be a thing where like fans be coming past Vern and just to really see like, what right. are you talking about? Right. Like type shit, so. That's yeah. real shit. So like by you being a rapper from Uptown, I'm pretty sure, you know, you was listening to Quilly and I know you used to yeah, say- Yeah, hell yeah, You used to sure. say, um, actually in one of your songs, you said every day listen to Quilly after school. After school, yeah. Shit like that. Like by you being signed, right? With Meek and everything. Yeah. Did that like any cause any friction or anything? Like no, 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 I, no, I, nope, not at all. Word. Yeah, yeah, nope, not at all. Word, cause at a all. lot of people, you know, they don't even know you started out with that song "Real Niggas from Up Top." Yeah, yeah, with them. And no, then, I started yeah. off with Splash Lights with Splash him before. Like, Splash Lights, then yeah. Real Niggas Up Top, yeah, yeah. and then you had the uh, Zero to One Hundred Freestyle mm -hmm. with him. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, when I listened, then I had to know some Mandela joint with him. So yeah, 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 hell yeah. Uh, got history. Shout out to Quill. Yeah, I fuck with Quill. Ain't like I think like. Quill was one of the first people to, you know, show love on his feature price, um, right. you know, and just really look out for real, for real. Right. Now, being from Uptown, did you feel as though that you had a lot of pressure, you know, getting yourself in the rap game? Because a lot of people had that type of aggression when they rap, you know, that stereotype, like, Philly angry. Mm -hmm. You rap about killing niggas, yeah, yeah. the theory, like, yeah. and you rap about what you rap about. And mm -hmm. one thing I want to give you flowers on, bro, you stay in your lane. So did you feel as though you had to, like, switch it up or you know stay in your lane to make it this far um i had definitely had to switch it up for sure for sure though like but i had to i felt like i had to master the rapping rapping okay. before i could do the harmonizing and switching it up and doing the i'm a stars i had to show you i could really really fucking rap and then by you saying i'm a star right my first time listening to you bro was pound cake too mm-hmm I'm like, this nigga funny as shit. Bro. Yeah, hell yeah. So what me like I know you said, you know, you, you went on it on Twitter, you was looking at different girls from different cities. I mean not different cities, different areas of the city, and included everyone in one song. Right. When that happened, did you get a lot of negative feedback outside of the positive feedback? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, for sure. It balanced itself out. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you had people like, oh, why is he saying my name? I don't even know this nigga. Who the fuck is he? But I wanted that though. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to base my whole thing around that. I just wanted to have eyes on me. Once I had the eyes on me, I could show them what else I could do. Mm -hmm. But I just got to get eyes on me. So most niggas are, you know, they may diss niggas right. or, you know, do whatever just to get eyes on them. Right. I didn't want to take that approach. Right. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to 
put motherfuckers like you know different girls that everybody knows say they Instagram names from West Philly, Southwest, Uptown, mm -hmm. same shit. Da -da 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 -da. Right. And you know it's gonna start little fires. Mm -hmm. And damn, because you got to think, it's people from Southwest that never been uptown. Right. It's people from uptown that never been to Southwest. Right. So I wanted to, you know, make it a thing where everybody talking. Okay. For real, for real. That was like my whole, my biggest thing, for real, for real. Now, by you speaking on that, you have a different type of rap, bro. A lot of people can relate to you. You rap that pain and you rap real shit. You see a lot of things on the mic that a lot of people wouldn't even say. And with that being said, you spoke about the struggle. A lot of people was like, how the fuck you yeah, yeah. Re represent the struggle, but you from uptown. From uptown, yeah. Like, like mm -hmm. can you speak on that? Like, yeah, yeah. I, uh... I'm going to be honest, right? Like, I think that, you know, I actually got people that could vouch. It's not some shit I'm just making up in my head. Right. Like, the crib we had on Uptown, 7947 Cedarbrook, mm -hmm. the block, literally E9 right there. Right. I'm talking about no uh, no heat, no water, no this, no that. Like, right. the crib was really, really, really fucked up. Like, right. my homies that was around me, we was bad, doing a bunch of shit in there, da 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 like... Cause it was vacant and it was just, you know, that was the house I grew up in. But I'm talking about we couldn't use the bathroom, we couldn't wash our hands. It was roaches in that joint. And then mm -hmm. we straightened it out. Right. Like you know, as older, we right. like our right, fuck. If we gonna chill in this joint, we just gotta straighten it out. Right. And then we just made it to a point where it was chillable. Mm -hmm. But it was definitely like fucked up, sleeping car to car, all of that like type shit for real, for real. Like, um, I think I I had said some shit. I was listening to some song earlier I had made, and I'm like, I thought I made the right. I said, what I say, um. I graduated high school and then I followed my heart. I thought I made the right move and then it kind of got hard. I'm going house to house. My man folks like, damn, is he all right? I'm going couch to couch. My back aching, feeling destroyed. Like, and, I, and that really touched me because that's what it really was though. Like, you got to think like, people in high school may look at me like, oh bro, I was in high school with him. He was all right. He ain't look like he was going through pain. My pain really was starting. Like I went through pain as a youngin, but my pain really started when I graduated high school. Cause then I moved, cause I moved back up my end, right. and my mom had let go of the crib that we, we was all in that was vacant. Right. She right. let go of the crib, like right. kind of just gave up for real, for real. So right. that was like where I, like where life ran up on me type shit. What school did you go to? If you're my I went to Saw. School. You went to Saw because mm -hmm. you know a lot of people. Yeah, I went, yeah, I went to, I went to Saw because I, I had moved to Northeast with my dad. So right. that was a school that he had sent me to. Boom, uh, I went to Saw. Mm -hmm. I graduated from Saw, and then the day of my graduation, I moved right back uptown. Right. I'm right back in the mix. Right. And I, then I'm like, yo, what the fuck am I going to do? Type right. shit. Like, right. da 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 da, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna figure it out. Right. I ain't gonna lie, I had like, I had like, uh, it's, it's like this, it's like this, uh, this. Uh, this flatbread place on Germantown Ave called Earth. Okay. I used to work at Earth. Okay. Probably I got like probably worked there for like two, three weeks. And um I then right after that I just kinda just, you know, got in the mix. I just start da 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 I, I, for real, for real. But it's so crazy because the moment I had this was like a year or two later, but once I made my first money off of future, I never got back in the mix. So it was like, yo, mm -hmm. I bet I felt my niche. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So that's yeah. why I'm cool with taking low times, high times, whatever in this shit, because I felt my niche. Bro, I'm going to so say So it is like, regardless of what you're doing in life, it's going to be highs, it's going to be lows. You could be a doctor, it could be whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, it's going to be highs, lows. So I felt something where I'm okay and make me happy doing it. Right. And I'm okay with, with the highs and lows. Sometimes that shit get annoying, but that's anything in life, bro. Right. For that's real shit. I was going to say, like, what made you become vulnerable, like, in your music? Because just not having nothing to lose, for real, for real. And I just know that, like, there's so many people in the world, I ain't the only nigga feeling this way. There's other people that can relate. The people that don't relate, shit, they just ain't for you. Right. The people that relate, come on, let's go. Right. Type of shit, so. Listen, to, like, going and piggyback off of Vulnerable, bro. Like, you speak about your mom yeah, a yeah. lot in your music. Yeah. Like, one thing I was listening to, one song I was listening to, bro, you basically was saying, um... You know, I bought mama and sister a crib. They didn't want it. Yeah, she yeah. told me that she better off living, living with her husband. husband. So what, what was, was the point, point of rushing? And what, what was, was the, the point, point of fussing? And I, I got to, I, I got to, like, when I clear that up, though, because I'm not going to make it like a, like a thing where it's like they didn't want it. 
Okay, because it was nice. It was right. downtown. It was okay. like a condo, two bedrooms, two bathrooms for her, my you know, my little sister, whatever. Yeah. And it was paid off for the year. Mm. Um, they didn't have to pay nothing. Da, 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 uh, uh, uh. Um, and that was just a, 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 like a, something just to hold them down until we figure out the crib, right. the house. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because she was rushing. She was fussing. Mm -hmm. Right? So i do it. Boom. Pay it off for a year. Uh, 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 and it's in my name. Okay. Right? So... Uh, to really be even like transparent, like you know how my my little sister, she, you know, twenty one, twenty two. Right. Her and her boyfriend go through shit. Da 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 da. They be fighting. Da 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 da. Ah, ah. So I say all that to say, the my issue was just I was kind of some would say controlling about who can come there and who can't. Okay. So that's where I say they didn't want it because it was like, well, if it come with the rules, then we can stay where we at. Mm, I like that. You feel what I'm like saying? That but I was really more on a thing of safety. Like, yo, mom, y'all can't just have anybody in this joint. Right. But then I'm not looking at it from their point of view. They saying this, if I'm saying that that's their space, then mm -hmm. why can't they have anybody? So it go both ways. But, you know, that's where it was kind of like, you know, bro, we can just stay where we at. Like, da 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 da, -da. Right. That's one. Then my little sister, I'm like, yo, you can't bring, you can't, um, um, you can't bring uh, nobody in this joint, right? right? Like, you know, like a nigga or a girl. Right. I was on that tip too, though, like, right? And I felt like I was on that tip, but like, because I just was just like, yo, the people you really rock with as far as your friends, whatever, yeah. I don't right. fuck out of there type shit, right? It. But then she ended up falling out with him. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Not even to put my little sister shit out no, there like that on that type tip, but it's right. just more of a situation where, and like we grew past it, me and her super tight with green, right. so it ain't like no 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 pressure, but right. it's just more like a, a situation where I was just being controlled and I was just more on the tip like, yo, I don't trust them, I don't trust that, I don't trust this, I don't trust them for you. Just trying to be a pop to my mom and my sister, like you gotta look at how, just on, not even a pop, overprotective, like right. on okay. that tip where I'm trying to, you know, be the man of like, yo, bro, I don't want this, I don't want, I don't like that, I don't. Was your, just, was your pop, I don't mean to like throw, you know, throw you off, but by you saying being a male, like, was your dad involved or anything? Like, because I never hear you mention, like, your pop, like, you know. I moved with I my dad when I was 12. Right. I, went, I left him when I was 18. Right. So my dad raised me from 12 to 18 in Northeast. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hell yeah. Right. Y'all got a good relationship? Or yeah, right? it's cool. All right. Now, by you staying down, bro, like, one thing I will give you, um, your flowers on again, like I said, like, a lot of people don't give people flowers because we live in a city where it's giving too much support is like confuses dick eating, bro. But we can give support to so many different rappers outside the city. I don't understand it, but this is a guy that I've been listening to for the last 10 years, um, from straight from the core, how it never was, you know, it shouldn't be like this. Um, my man Kyle, you know, we, we spoke outside the camera, yeah. but... My man Kyle um, spoke highly of you, bro. Yeah, I fuck with Kyle. That was my man. Kyle, bro. Yeah, and, you, and you mentioned it more. Um, give me a sec, bro. Yeah, like that, yeah. Hell yeah. I love that you did that, bro. Mm -hmm. Like that was a perfect time, yeah. honestly, bro. Hell yeah. Um, shout out to the Hall family as well. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Um, when I say you stay in your lane, bro, we have we have a city where a lot of niggas is aggressive, bro. Rapping about killing niggas, mm -hmm. this, that, and the third. You rap about being yourself. A lot of people can relate to that, bro. Mm -hmm. I go on your Instagram, listen to um to your music videos, and I watch every I read everyone's comments. And a lot of people say, Core actually got me through tough times. You know, and I got niggas, I'm 31, bro. I got mm -hmm. niggas that listen to you. you know, I know mm -hmm. you're younger than me, yeah. but niggas really like fuck with your music, mm -hmm. bro. Thank you, you, for that, bro. you no real shit, bro, because you actually like it's almost like you spill, it's almost therapeutic to you, bro. It's yeah, like yeah. that's your therapy mm -hmm. session, the mic. Yeah. Um, can you tell me your process of you creating your music and also do you refer to your old music while making new music? Sometimes, yeah, but um, you know, the process for me now, for real, for real, is like I'm trying to. All right, so how can I say this so it sounds right? Like, I don't want my shit to sound the same, and I just felt like it became repetitive where I started to just the cadence and the flow started to sound the same, and I wasn't really living to go create new experiences, to rap about new, sh new shit. So right. I felt like it was one of those things where I just had to take a step back, live a little bit more, you know, start doing shit, shop a little bit more, you know, just live life a little bit more. So when I go back in, I could, what's the name? So uh, I could go crazy. So a lot of the songs people be hearing really be throwaways of me just testing the waters or just trying to, you know, whatever. If it's on my brain, it's on my heart. I, I write about it. I put this shit out. You right. know what I'm saying? And hopefully it gets somebody, even if it got one person through their day, I'm cool with it. Right. Like all the, the, the other comments be cool and I love it. But mm -hmm. like if one person was to DM me and say, bro, like, 
you saved me, man. I was at my lowest point, man. Like, for real, for I don't have people say, like, yo, fans write me, yo, bro, like, you got me, you stopped me from committing suicide. And mm. I send long paragraphs back, like, mm. goddamn, baby, like, I feel you, bro, because mm. I know how that shit get. Mm. And I think that it's, like, a thing, too, where it's, like, like, I just tried to, you know, I felt my niche where it's, like, I could, I, my music get people through tough times. So I'm, like, all right, if it get people through tough times, I could be the guy to you go to, I could be the guy you go to when you're going through tough times. Okay. Right? Nobody party Monday to Monday, right? Mm -hmm. So even if you party on the weekend, you got life, mm -hmm. shit that you're going through. So right. who you listen to in between time? Right. When you're going through something and you're not turned up and you're mm -hmm. feeling low, mm -hmm. who you listen to? Mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying? The club not going to play that type of music. So I feel like I felt my niche where it's like, and I got a, I got some work and I got to do, of course, but like I, I got shit I need to work on. But I feel like, yo, I found my niche where it's like, yo, that's my voice. I'm going to use my voice for that. To get people through. For real, for real. Y'all better come get y'all one of these. I'm not talking about no damn chicken salad. I'm talking about... Uh, all the way. You dropped the tape with Dave B's back in 2016. Yeah. You know, you got a song on there mm -hmm. called Fallen, bro. Um, a lot of people from the city really stayed down with you, bro. Right. Like, you yeah. really is someone everyone was rooting for, man. Mm -hmm. um, can you explain the difference between your first deal and the deal that you're in right now? And also... Is it like what's the difference? Like, what, what is the difference between your first deal and this deal? And also, is there any difference in your music as far as you structure your EPs and a potential album coming out? Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. I definitely got heat coming. I got uh, all right. So I got a full get you through the rain. I'm talking about really get you through the thunderstorm tape called Only If Y'all Knew. Right. Okay. I got another tape. It's gonna be called Thriller. Okay. It's gonna be all hype songs, all niggas talking about I fell off, then I can't write back. That type of shit, right? Okay. That's gonna be thriller, okay. right? I'm telling you, that's gonna go fucking insane for the summer. Thriller, right? Like that's gonna be the name of the tape, right? And then only if y'all knew, mm -hmm. da, 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 that's gonna be the pain. Like only if y'all knew the other side of it, like type shit. Yeah. And not even on no, yo, I can't wash up, I can't da 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 da. I'm right. pop, I'm broke. Da, 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 da. It's more right. like a, no, oh, I'm getting the money and I'm doing everything I wanted to do, but it's still pain, though. Right. You feel what I'm saying? My it's just not the same pain. It's right. still pain, though. I get, that. I get that. I get that. And I don't want to be a thing, too, where that's why I'm like, yo, I'm going to follow right back up with Thriller. Because mm -hmm. I don't want people to think that I'm getting too caught up in the pain where I'm overlooking the blessings. Mm -hmm. I'm not on that, though. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So, right. Yeah. Um, one thing I also wanted to speak on was the fact that you mentioned a lot of restaurants. You mentioned yeah, a lot yeah, of food, yeah, for sure. things in that sort, man. Like, I travel a lot, so when you go to different restaurants, man, like, what makes you like say I want to add this in my my music as well? Are you trying to like give people an uh, an insight of who you are as well? Yeah, yeah, just, just to like, let you know, like, yeah, that's what I eat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, people just be you be getting like, fancy with it, or just like I'm giving the ba like the basics, you're like. You no, know, I could get fancy too, but I be just looking at that shit where it's just and like, that. You be talking like, like yo, like, like. And you supporting the business too. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You never know what somebody going through. So if I got a voice and I eat there, it's like yo, I'm gonna let the other people world know, yo, I eat there. Right. I eat at Fusion to Love. I eat at Kenshin. I eat at Ads. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I eat at these places. Like mm -hmm. I gotta say that. You got if you ever go down to Baltimore, you gotta try this spot called Poppy Cuisine, bro. Yeah, yeah. Good spot. Yeah. Black on John. Okay, definitely. Yeah. For sure. Now for sure. speaking of black on, you know, my man chiefing in this joint. You know, we got inhale. Exhale, Philly, you know, black owned smoke shop that's basically sponsoring the show. You know, they gave Core a t shirt, I gotta give the guy as well. Yeah. They oh, have yeah. juices as well, CBD juices. They have everything. You can find them in North Philly in the uh, Francisville section. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing that we didn't really touch on, bro, um, I'm not sure if you heard me, but I just wanted to know, like, what's the difference for those that are like hunger, hungry to like get a deal? I just wanted to know, like, if you don't mind speaking on it. Like, what's the difference between this deal that you have with Dream Chasers and Rock Nation and your first deal? 
And you was like, you know, you spoke yeah, on I it. just felt like just, you know, I'm in a way better deal, way better situation. I feel like this time I learned from the last shit that I was in. And I feel like the last thing I was in, I was so like money, 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 money. So before I did this deal, we I made sure that, you know, the lawyers was on point and everything was green and everything was, you know, um, comfortable. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? For both parties, though. It's not a one and two street, just, right, you know, right. for them and me. And it was comfortable and everybody agreed and everybody felt good about it. Right. So it was like, okay, cool. I feel like before, I didn't even pay attention. I'm thinking like, yo, they gonna give me this check when I fucking leave. Mm -hmm. Not knowing about you gotta wait or whatever type right. shit. Right. And I heard you speak on yeah, the net so, 30. Yeah, now all, all of that, that type right. shit. So I feel like, you know, um, that's where I'm kind of at with it. Like, that's where I was at with it. Like, yo, just make sure that the business is handled more than anything. Right, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. That motherfucker chain glisten, dark shit. Fuck my eyes. I appreciate up, man. That it. Shit no, bro. That shit shining, man. Um, another thing I want to speak on as well, bro. Yeah. Like, when I'm listening to your music, bro, um, you speaking on, like, it's hard for you to vent. Yeah. You know, and like I said earlier um, in the episode, that your music seems like it's therapeutic for you. But have you ever seek a therapy or anything? Because when you yeah, came yeah, out, when, yeah, for when, sure. you, when you came out, everyone assumed that you were just some mad guy that's mm -hmm. rapping, always mad, like angry. Mm -hmm. And it seems as though throughout the years you became more open, and you know. I just think that was people. also a thing too, where it's like, you know, how you just use that as like a defense mechanism, right? For real, for real. Right. So it's like one of those things where it's like, like, or. I had seen Hov say something about it where it was like, like, you may be in the car, cause I'm, I got fishbowl, right? So I'm in the car, da da da, da and like somebody look at you, and you just flip out. What the fuck is they looking at? Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. But you really think that they see what you're going through, or mm -hmm. they see like, mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying though? Like, really tripping. What the fuck is they looking at? Da 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 da. Right. But in your head, it's like, do they do they see that I like I'm on some shit? And right. I'm at my lowest point. Right. For real, right. for real, like type mm. shit, like no bullshit though, bro. So I think that that was another thing why I was just walking around mad because I also was like trying to match people' energy, and people' energy may have not even been that. Yeah, right. But I'm saying that I'm trying to match the energy that I think is out there. Mm. So it's like, yo, whatever you want, I'm on before you even said it, mm -hmm. because that's where I, how I came up. Right. You feel what I'm saying, like. It was like super intense to the point where it's like everybody, anybody could swing on you, anybody could poke you up, anything. So it's like you gotta be on some shit, like right. for real, for real, take like shit. God dang. No, 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 I definitely feel you. I definitely feel for you. For real, bro. Um, any rappers like now growing up though, um, who was you influenced? Um, influenced by? Like it doesn't like uh, industry anybody like Jay Z. Fifty Cent, Jay Z, Freeway, me. Um, I had a uh, I had a Mika Cuz uh, CD, uh, the real me. Mm. We used to listen. Uh, we used to listen to it outside uh, dying crib. It was mm. like probably like oh six, for real, for real. We was pups. Um, my mom used to fuck with uh, Cassidy heavy. Like she used to play his music a lot. So Cassidy, mm. um, uh, major figures. Um, I ain't start listening to Gil and them till I kind of like got older. Like as far as Gil as a solo artist, I shout out to Gil though. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to State Prop. Shout out to Meek. Like I, I that's who I kind of came up on. Reed Dallas. Right. Uh, shout out to Vodka. I really fuck with Vodka. Mm -hmm. um, coming up, shit was super hard. Uh, I fuck with Lean Bean. I ain't gonna lie, like uh, the yeah. kid with the gift, yeah, she's she super hard. dope. Like right. for real, for real. I know she gonna get her get her moment for mm -hmm. real, for real. Cause she just super dope though, like I ain't gonna lie about that. Like and that's I was actually like, well I still am. Ain't shit changed. Like a fan of her though. Right. Even back then though. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? When she was doing the uh savages with I mean the, I'm talking too fast. Doing the ciphers with young savage and all of them. Mm -hmm. da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, for real though. Um, do you listen to Battle Rap? Uh not really. You don't? Um for the people that don't know you, bro, um, you know, I did my homework. I know you don't watch sports. You know, you was a boxer, you know, growing up. Um, you hated it, things of that sort. But, of course, you know, you, you need to hold your own. Um, one thing I wanted to uh, give you, um, commend you on, bro, as a man. Oh, I got to shake your hand on this one, bro, before you even say it, bro. Like, uh, as a man, bro, like, a lot of people, they love negative shit, bro. We live in Philly. We, that's what we grew up on. But I wanted to commend you on how you and... um. 
how you and Rock handle things as men. Because, yeah, of course. you know, a lot of people ask y'all about the, I don't care about all that, but I want to give you your flowers on that. And if he was here, I would have said the same thing. Um, but unfortunately, he's not. But the fact that y'all had y'all differences, y'all settled it, y'all put that to the side, and also y'all both showed people in the city that y'all can go through something, but y'all have an objective, and that's to mm. get signed to get this deal, this shit done. Yeah, just get it cracking, yeah. Y'all both were signed, they're living y'all lives, while all these other, you know, go through what they go through. Mm -hmm. I just feel as though a lot of people can learn from that, bro. Yeah, a lot sure. of people can learn because you still who you are, you know, I don't see anything different than what I seen through the internet. It's my first time, second time meeting you. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, this guy right here, real nigga, man. He always follow the the term thorough. I met this man in September, made in America, a fan and also an interviewer. My man Tali was talking to him. I turned around. My man said, "Yo, uh, my man Dad put me on to you." Turn around, I shake his hand. As soon as I seen him, I said, "Bro, I've been trying to get an interview with you, bro, for the longest." He said, just do it, bro. Lock me in. Gave me his personal cell phone. He didn't give me no email, PR, or even he'll, uh, hit me up on the um, DM. Um, I just want to thank you for that, bro. Yeah, yeah um, for sure. Is there any music that is dropping, like, soon outside of the thorough, like, any, like, um, Yeah, I might just, yeah. Like, as far yeah, as, like, I you know how you drop on name. SoundCloud yeah, and things yeah, for and sure, for sure. I might just, what's the name? I might just, you know, put some throwaways out, da -da 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 -da, you know. If I feel comfortable though, I have no how I get. Or uh, right. If I okay. feel comfortable though, I put that shit out. It'd be easy. One, two, three. I don't wanna be in my head too much about it. But if I if we cook up some throwaways and it's like our bet, I can put it out. But I just don't also wanna drop without a purpose. So it's kinda like I'm not just trying to keep putting songs out. I want like I wanna get people through right. and that's the purpose, but right. I wanna just also make sure it's strategic too and I'm not burning myself out. Okay. So that's the flip side to it. What's your best tape you got so far? Say that again. What's the best tape that you dropped thus far? Because if it was up to me, I would never was. I say that. That was like <clears> that's <throat> that like put me in the game. Doggy dog, that's my shit. You know, I lost my dog and I fucked up for life. You mentioned Reem in every song, damn near. Bro. Yeah, yeah. And I respect that, bro, because um, I actually had the pleasure to go to uh, King with him. You know, yeah, I was sure. in King. I think he was mm -hmm. a great under me, but yeah, man. Um, I respect the fact that. You keep everything thorough, though. You seem like you yourself at all times. You're open. Have you ever, like, seek therapy, though? Because I, I, yeah, I, I spoke yeah, for sure, before, for sure. But have you ever yeah, seek yeah, therapy? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Um, and that process was fine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still going through it. I got a question for you, know, everyone. Well, a couple people knew I was going to interview you. And I had this girl ask this one question she wanted me to um, ask you. You know how you make your references about women. Mm -hmm. You know a lot of rappers do. Yeah. Like, um, she wanted to know, like, were you ever hurt? Or anything before that make you like have that type of like I think I just say it because it sound cool. I have to learn though too though like that I kind of gotta you know um, just lighten up because I don't really feel that way all the time sometimes I just say because it, it sounds cool you know what I mean for a friend I got a lot of female friends and I mean female fans I probably well right. yeah so a lot of female fans right and I don't want to make it like I'm bashing them because you know women are queens right like you feel what I'm saying right. like for real for real so. I don't want to make it a thing where it's like I'm just bashing you, bashing you, bashing. It's just disrespect. Right. It's just like that ain't cool either, though. So some shit I just say because it sound cool, though. Right. Like Some shit I do mean, though. But I'm saying some <laughs> shit I just say, though, because it sound cool. So I don't want to make it a thing like I just be bashing, bashing, bashing. Because that ain't cool, though. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. But you got a song. It don't matter what race, whatever. Women are queens, period. Though. Most Black, definitely. white, Latino, whatever. Like, Most they definitely. queens, for real, for real. So Most definitely. You got to treat it that way. You got a song called, um, I'm just calling, I'm just trying to see what's up with you. You know, that drum right there, you was speaking to the women or speaking to a specific girl on that drum. That drum was hard. Um, for those that have been asking as well, you know, I heard you speak about this on your last interview or one of your interviews. A lot of people felt as though Meek wasn't backing you. And I don't want to, like, Say anything like that, you know. But you know how niggas, you from the city, bro. Like, dog, 
Man, you know, Coruscant. Like what you mean backing me though? Like what? And now or then? No, now, and that's the thing. Now you know how now, like not, it not, not then. that's not the case though. So right, we can, we can right, no, not, that. not, not yeah. did it, no, not did it, not did it. Not, I'm, I'm not trying to like say it like that, bro. But you know how when people just make the assumption from niggas yeah, in the fuck city. Yeah, what they talking about? Right, I know in real life, like what's going on. Right, yeah, take shit. Right, you was on the song much, bro. Yeah, yeah, for you sure. feel me? Yeah. Um, but you know how niggas just be like expecting so much, and I know you can give a yeah. fuck about but that. But I ain't expecting so much. Me and him got a relationship. Like it's green. Like it ain't. I don't really get too involved with other people be saying. I see what you like. Oh, you see what I, I'm saying? I, I, like no, I see the comments. Like I get what you're saying about how how people this, like, uh, don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't get the. Uh, expecting too much. I don't understand that part. But I do get the... I do see where you're coming from on the right. what you see. Because right. I see it. But right. it's wrong. Because right. they putting too much emphasis on somebody else right. to do something for somebody else right. that don't make sense. Right. Though. And I get when that, I'm grinding, he grinding. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I think that that whole thing is bullshit mm-hmm. because... Hold on. Spade is spade. No, you get <clears throat> Spade is spade. The whole thing is bullshit because... The nigga can post me 13 times. He don't post me on the 14th time. He don't back me. Yeah, I remember you. So yeah. it's like, yo, you, like, come on, bro. You can't you win stop you, with yeah. that, bro. Right. Like, no, I got to see that, though. Like, right. bro has looked out for me. As I said, I say it on every interview. Bro right. looked out for me a thousand times. Right. Where it's like, and I tell the world that. This is my chance. Yo, bro looked out a thousand times. Right. So when people be saying, the, yo, da 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 the comments that I be seeing it. Right. So that's what I'm saying. When I say, yo, I see what you're saying. I'm saying, I see that the comment shit. I be right. seeing how people look at it. But I'm like, wait, y'all wrong. Right. We got to call a spade a spade. I'm glad gotta you be said thorough. That. Right. That's wrong. Right. Because a nigga can post me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Mm-hmm. Nigga don't post me on the 10th. He nutty. Come on, bro. Mm-hmm. That ain't right. That's right. not thorough. Right. So we got to cut that out. Right. That's one. Two, if the nigga posted me twice and I dropped nine songs after that and he only posted me twice, mm-hmm. yo, thank you for the twice. Right. You don't have to do it at you all. You don't have to do that. Right. I get that. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Regardless, you don't have to do anything. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. So it's like we can't do that. Him sharing his platform, period, is enough. And you grateful for him, yo, us partnering together and right. me being DC is enough. Right. Period. Right. Like, you feel and, what I'm saying? And so I, I believe it. I gotta I believe say it. that. Like, I believe more, it. Like, you gotta make that shit happen. And I'm in the reason, and I, and I ain't trying right. to like, you know, ruffle your feathers or anything. Oh no, no, you, know? you ain't doing that, bro. Because, I just like, had to. If we gonna talk about it, we gonna talk about no, it. It's like, and I'm that, glad you that said right that. there, that be like that's what people need to know, though, bro. Yeah, no, they do need to know, but I don't be fucking with that because I see it too. Right. And be like, every chance I get on these interviews, I'm going to say, yo, that's nutty. Right. Y'all got to cut that out. This mm-hmm. bro, look out. He do enough for me. Like, yeah. I got to say that. Shit yeah. that he don't got to do. I and, keep saying it. And you know what, though, bro? And I'm glad you said it. I'm glad you got the clarity out the way, bro. The reason I just mentioned that, because honestly, a lot of people want to just see you fucking succeed in this rap shit. But that's on me. Right. Mm. That's on Accountability. me. I like that. That's on me. I like that. I like that. That's on me. But that's for the people to know. That's you know on how me, to... though. Right. right. It's like the moment you start... Wait. Oh, I want to see him successful. Somebody else got to make him successful? Oh, wait. Hold on, baby. Right. Got to make yourself successful. Right. First. Right. That's the thing, bro. You can't get caught up in that. Right. God, see that? Spade is spade. You can't get caught up in that. Respect. What type of time is that? Like, Respect. that's on some, what? That's user type shit. No, Listen, like, yeah. I don't like, I don't get down like that. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. Like, anything a nigga, a nigga has done enough, bro. He don't right. ever have to post me again. Nigga is still love for life. DC for life, right. nigga. Right. Love for that nigga for life. Right. I gotta say that, bro. Right. So I ain't never tripping ever. Right. I gotta say that. No, it's it's like speed is speed. Bro showed me when it mattered. Mm-hmm. You no, know, that he fuck with me. So it's like our. Right, and I'm glad like, you said that, bro. What you mean? I'm glad you said that. I don't be fucking with that. Right. No, I'm glad you said that because um the reason I just like mentioned that, bro, because you know a lot of people just like want to see you succeed. That's the only reason. Yeah, I mentioned yeah, for that, sure. Though. But that's so what I don't mean. want that to like come off as anything messy or anything like that. Um. You being an artist in DC, bro, you have um anything that you would like the audience to listen to, bro? Like give us a snippet of something that we can like. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, for sure. That's cool. Look forward to. Yeah.